Hey guys, real quickly, I just wanted to make a guide on Destiny 2 The Witch Queen, Sabathun Throne World XP, and how to level up the Throne World. Okay, real quickly guys, before you hit rank, I think I believe it's 15, you're going to want to have, on the second mod slot, the second square for the ghost, Wombo Detector detects caches and resources within a 50 meter radius, or range, why did I say radius, whatever. You're going to also want to have a scout rifle or sniper rifle, and here's why. I'll do this just to show you guys. I'm not going to have the same one as you guys, but I'll give you the idea. So you have the sniper rifle on. This will be much further away. you pull you. Here, maybe I need out the 50 meters. Yeah, the 50 meter radius one. Okay. Let's just sink it just a little bit. Let's see, put the 50 meter radius on. Boom. Chest. Oh, what's that over there? Boom, chest. You can also, I believe, you can do this with a scout rifle. Yep, same with scout rifles. It's not as far. But that's still pretty decent. You can still see some stuff. So, chest, there you go. And the resources and chests will give you 20 XP towards the Throne World XP ranking. Uh, if you're doing this stuff with friends, make sure to pick up as many patrols as you physically can. Because patrols will help increase that level a little bit. And about our public events. If you didn't know, for the public event where you push a little triangle and a ball's in the middle, uh, these little red balls will spawn. Throw it at the triangle thing. That's how you make it heroic. Over here, there's a witch summoning thing going on. Um, and the way you make that one heroic is after you kill the witches, these little crystals will spawn on the, either side, or on both sides, rather. You shoot both the crystals, boom, heroic. Uh, then the ether thing over here in miasma, that, I mean, you just shoot the, the balls stuff. There you go, that's it. Um... And you're just going to want to do all that, and you're going to also come to Finch and get his bounties. The repeatable ones and the daily ones, they'll gain Throne World XP rank. Key, as, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> I'm level 33. Um, and now I'm going to show you, after you hit rank 15, what the fastest two methods to do are. So, here's one of the methods. So, after you get the... Um, Okay, we'll go back to Finch because I can't remember the damn name. That's level three, though. It's the uh, true sight thing. On the same side here. It's right here. Uh, no, it's right here. Deep sight tier three. After you get deep, deep sight tier three unlocked, this is there's two ways you can do this. So this is the way I've been doing it, but there's two ways. So as you can see here, I'm by the spawn. Uh, this is the path I take. You guys can just follow what I do here. Try not to bump into stuff as I do. Also, I have fixed Destiny 2's brightness. It used to be really, really fucky. I don't, I don't know. I fixed it though, so if any of you are having that issue and need a guide on how I fixed it, let me know. I got you. So, as we make it to the canal, we're gonna keep going past the little. What would you call this? Rose area, fountain, whatever. Just gonna go past that. Uh, over here, towards this hive tomb ship, as you can see, we're gonna go inside this little building. Uh, if you didn't know, this is where you spawned at during the beginning of the campaign when you first entered the throne world. So if you know where that is, there you go. Queen's Bailey, that's where we're going. Okay. So you come down here, you're going to have a gun that's primary, you're not going to want to have two specials on for this. You could use a heavy machine gun for this as well, although I recommend it. So you're going to come over here to Deep Sight Tier 3, you're going to hit Reveal. Now, these little torches, you're going to want to shoot them, boom, they light up. You're going to go to each one of them and make sure they're lit. Uh, some of them will deactivate, just keep doing it until they all light up. Boom, full chest will spawn, here you go, collect it. 200 and a red weapon. The red weapons can drop from this, so if you need the resources for crafting, there you go. Now you're gonna come over here, as I do, and there's gonna be another one. Honestly, for this, I do recommend using a mobility exotic such as Stompies or. or, or okay, so Stompies for the Hunter. Dune Marchers. Is it Dune Marchers for the Titan? I think it's Dune Marchers for the Titan. Um, and for the Warlock Transversor, so you can also throw a Mighty Multi-Tool on. Boom, this is the second chest, just up here. 
with a 200 XP. You're gonna need 2,000 once you hit rank 30. And you might be like, Dark, why does that matter? Um, because you want to rank it up so you get uh, different rolls, legendary shards if you don't already have them. And if you didn't know what I did for this one, activated deep sight and those little uh, Savathun little circles, you just shoot them if you know the mission, which you should have played, because that's, you need to play the damn mission. And there you go. Uh, the other method you can do... Um, well, let's, I'll do after this first. So, you can either fast travel back, or you can go out of your way to walk all this way. You'll see how far I have to go to get out of this area. And the chest will respawn, so... You just have to exit this area, which takes forever, I'm sorry, but I just... Some people think you have to go to orbit, and you don't, you just fast travel back, or you can walk. And this is the walking method, I'm sorry. Boop -ba -doop. It's a very beautiful area. Like, I, I don't know. This expansion is better than Taken King. Don't fight me. So, once you reach Fluorescent Canal, pull your ghost, you're going back. Or your sparrow, you're going back. And you're going to see as I do here. Oh. Pain. Boom, they're fucking back. There you go. That's well, a little first method. So we're gonna do this real quick. Mainly because I want the XP, I'm already here. They're not really not an accident. Come on. You scumbags. Alright, cool. Uh, this will give you giving you legendary shards, and once you delete them, uh, gunsmith materials. I'm pretty sure it would only give you throne world weapons you've already gotten. Kind of hoping for the sniper rifle, if I'm being honest, but I don't know if that can drop from this. Ooh. Damn, I'm so fucked up with that jump right now, I don't know why. There we go. Back here. Real. And they do spawn in random areas, this is another the same. So the other method, it's recommended to have the sword, the eager edge sword. So I'll put that on for you guys. Let's show you this fusion rifle. I have no clue. Oh, the sniper rifle wouldn't drop from. Wait, is it? Like, oh, come on. This this looks like a uh, queen's weapon. Whatever. Ambitious lasting impression. Oh, it's fifteen thirty two. Oh. This is rough. Okay, um, so you're gonna want this on the half truce or other half to when you got with Eager Edge. I'm just gonna follow as. Okay, if I don't bump myself, I'm just gonna follow where I go. And you're gonna want your sparrow for this. Like, if you mess this up, you're, you're gonna want your sparrow. Um, this one's. I don't know. I could go either way with these two methods. Um, but this is the one I'd be doing. So if you're new to the game and you need legendary shards, or you just want the throne world weapons and get a, try to get a god roll, um, there you go. Or if you just need to rank up. Okay, so you're going to get from here to there, so it's going to be a little rough. Okay, you're going to go up here. Okay. One more time. Ooh. Then you want to go. Ooh. There you go. It's, it's just rough. Uh, that was rough. What you're gonna want to do is take your sparrow here. Drop it like right around here. I mean, you want to sword skate over here. Get your as possible. Boom, you're gonna see this platform spawn. It's hardest on the hunter. Everyone else, I feel like, can do this faster. Um, this is the class up to so unfortunately, I'm stuck with it. I wish the other one. I'm sure that one was over here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's right here. Let's hit. Up here. My stupid bird. Oh. Boom, there you go. Now you're trying to sword skate. It's easiest for the warlock, in my opinion. I just can make it. Yes! That was terrible. Got your sparrow. 
Go over to this hallway. Pragmire, back. Put it on the stairs area. Ooh, don't want to lose this thing. I'm gonna fuck that up. Try not to do what I did there. And, uh, yeah, this is the guide. That's how you do it. Hope you guys like this video. Uh, do whichever method you like the best. Can I make this without a sword swipe? No, you cannot. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys like this. I hope you leave a comment. Tell me what level you are in the season pass. I'm like tier 42. Definitely knew that off my head. Didn't have to check. <laughs> um, I hope you guys like, comment, uh, whatever. Uh, just hope this helped you all out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.